Hi, my name is George Ann Eubanks. I'm the writer of the Literary Trails of North Carolina guidebook series. Carl Sandburg moved to North Carolina and did fully one-third of his writing here. He was an old man in his 60s by the time he moved to North Carolina to Connemara, a house near Hendersonville. It's not easy to find any writing by Sandburg that directly relates to his years in North Carolina. He wrote about Abraham Lincoln, he wrote about the struggles of labor in America, and he wrote many poems on a variety of subjects. But North Carolina is not particularly mentioned. When we were doing the research for Literary Trails of the North Carolina Mountains, we began talking to a ranger at Carl Sandburg's house. It belongs to the Park Service now. And this ranger pointed us to a poem from the book Honey and Salt that describes a Japanese painting. But he said, this poem is really about the view from Carl Sandburg's front porch. It's called Old Hokusai Print. In a house he remembers in the Haolong Valley, not far from the bends of the Shushu River, where each of the leaves of fall is a pigeon foot of gold on the blue. There is a house of a thousand windows, and in every window the same woman. And she too remembers better than she forgets. She too has one wish for every window. And the mountains 40 miles away rise and fade, come and go, in lights and mist, there and not there, beckoning as mountains seen on a Monday, phantoms traveled far away on a Tuesday, scrawls in a dim blot on Wednesday, gone into gray shawls on Friday, lost and found in half lavenders often, back again one day saying they were not gone, not gone at all, being merely unseen. The white snow on the blue peaks, no dream snow, no dream at all, the sawtooth line of purple garments. Can a skyline share itself like drums in the heart? Mm -hmm.